And good evening on this lovely Easter Sunday. I am Resplendent Seraph, welcoming you to a, another and hopefully final edition of we're going to play uh, East Book 2. We finished East Book 1 in pretty short order, and now we're going to finish off the second. It's a pretty old game, good old TurboGrafx uh, CD ROM game from uh, 1990. Hey, Ghosty, what's going on? Ah, well, I will welcome you back when you get back, my friend. <laughs> I'm just going to go through the intro spiel. Uh, we probably actually don't have a lot uh, of East Book 2 left, but uh, we're going to say, yeah, that's right. We're going to finish this bitch. Um, so I just couldn't remember how much of it we have left. Uh, so last time we were playing this, it was like 11 o'clock at night or something. And I'm like, mm, I don't remember if there's like a half hour left, an hour left. and uh, that was kind of a, an interesting cutoff point. So figured better to better to just be the, you know play it safe. And so we're gonna we're gonna finish this thing tonight one way or the other. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be quicker rather than longer. With any luck, Seraph doesn't get lost. That's the only thing that could possibly drag this out is if I get lost. But I want to say that we only have two bosses left. There's Dally's himself and then Darm. I'm I'm pretty sure. Granted, it has been 30 years since I have played this game, so we're going to find out for sure one way or another. But I want to welcome everybody in. Well, before we even get started here, let's do some shout outs. Uh, since you guys are nice and early, the early gang. He's been playing uh, Dragon's Dogma too. We've been, we've been having a good time. And uh, Rob's been playing Namco and Capcom. Uh, I'm not sure if you're taking a break from that soon uh, or... Or if you're looking to uh, finish that off, Rob, but that has been a, a really fun experience. Uh, there have been some really, really great meme moments. I'm still laughing at when Akuma shows up and uh, some some boss just uh, just learning it on Mondays. Uh, and he's like, what are you, some kind of asshole? And it's like, well, yes. <laughs> like I could still, I'm probably misquoting it. But the way it, it, the way it just played out was amazing. That game is just so freaking goofy and crazy. And it's a shame that we didn't get it here in the States. That, uh, that, that game is a lot of fun. So I'm glad Rob is streaming that. That's been, that's been a good time for everybody. And uh, so, yeah, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the stream once we finish off Eastbook 2. Uh, I might just play the TurboGrafx version of Eastbook 3 and see how far into that we can get. Uh, I could just start playing some Battletech because we're still playing Battletech. So it could flip over to that. Oh, we got a we got a request for last alert. <laughs> or it could, you know, go into the Turbo Graphics grab bag. Uh, I actually do have the ISO of last alert, so I could play that. We we could. We certainly could. That might be uh we've got one vote for that, and already that's actually sounding pretty good. I hadn't considered that, but yeah, we could. We'll see how much of that game I even remember. Uh when I was first learning how to play Last Alert, I could only get to like the second, really that second area uh, before dying. So, uh, and we're talking about probably the same amount of time. Probably been about 30 years since I've played that. So, so maybe, maybe, and it, it is definitely going to be good for content because the, game, the voice acting of Last Alert is fucking horrendous. In Japan, it was called Red Alert. I don't know why they called it Last Alert for the States. Red Alert sounds so much fucking better. Um, and who knows? Maybe Japan got a better dubbed version, too. But anyway, that's that's beside the point. Uh, oh, and well, since Freakbot is here, we'll give a shout out for One-Eyed Freakbot. Woohoo! Greetings, everybody. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's let's... Let's get this party started here. I've been tweaking around with my OBS setup, so now I got my follower goal and all that stuff for the uh, good old uh, widescreen 21.9 uh, layout stuff that doesn't quite go across the screen well, but that shouldn't be a matter today because we're still playing this, which will take up the screen rather nicely. Let's just make sure I have everything in the correct order as soon as it grabs the... Thank you. Good. Okay. Perfect. We don't need all that stuff running in the background. That is delightful. And let us resume and finish one of my favorite games from my childhood, East Book 1 and 2. It's going to be a while since I hear this music, so I'm going to let this play for a quick minute.
One of these days I might get around to the street. And it must have started as in 87, 88. And then we got it 90. I'm not gonna play the entire intro, but. Get at least a little bit of it. We'll let this full lang load in. Right? But it's the same, like that, that era of anime style. Fun story, Ghosty. Uh, Record of Lotus War was my gateway into anime. That was literally the anime that got me into anime. Uh, such a great show. And let's begin. Let's let's see how much of this I remember. There's a recommendation. Play Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth. I don't know what Love Wonder Labyrinth is. That ought to be interesting. Well, let's make sure good Idol Falcon is equipped. Whoops. Let's make sure that Hypercutter is still equipped. And let's cruise down here. Magic of Fire. All right. Whoops. Yeah, it would help by actually, you know. There we go. Kill him. So we need Canal. We need Canal East. That's what we're going to be looking for here. Uh, I need to play it. It's on Steam. I need to play it at some time. Oh, it's, ah, it's the Lotus Metrovania you were telling me. Hell yeah, I definitely need to play that. I need to get it. So now we just need to figure out how I get to Canal East and what's the easiest way to get to it. And I'm thinking, whoops. Uh, I think I need to go around this way. So I am almost positive the way this is going to go is Seraph needs to get down onto the base level. I sh think I went the wrong way here. I think I should have gone right. Yeah, I should have gone right. Okay, let's head back that way. See if I can make my way over this way. So I need to get, I think I need to get to those stairs. That's what I need to do. I need to get to those stairs. Uh, Trigun and Evangelion. Yeah, Trigun is such a good... That was a fantastic fucking 90s anime. One of the first DVD sets I ever bought. DVDs first... Became, yeah. One of the... Oh, Ghosty... Uh, Lotus War, Ghosty? You and I were one of the first... Because Lotus War was definitely the first DVD I ever... Anime DVD I ever got. Uh, and the second was... Yeah, I need to be able to cross this. Fuck. I need to get over... There. That's what I need. I need to get over here. This is what Seraph needs to do. I think this is where I... No. No shit. Urgh. I need to get over there is what I need to do. Fuck. There must be a longer way around. Alright. No problem. Let's just head back this way. Oh. That might work. This might work. I don't think it is, but this might work. Because we'll cruise up here, we'll cruise over here. Mm, as long as there's not a great stopping our progress, we should be okay. Yep, okay, this is what I was actually looking for. And now we cruise up here. Good, okay. Now, oh, shit. We don't want to get there. Let's see if we can get, make our way over here. Ah, fuck. That's the grate that's gonna stop us. Okay, but we go up these stairs. And there'll be another way down up here. This, we're not, we're not nearly as lost as we were last time. All right, Ghosty, we'll see you in a bit. I'll try and, I'll try and pad things out by getting myself lost so you can see the end of the game. <laughs> uh, I won't actually try to do that, but it's probably going to happen naturally. Because the Solomon Shrine is fucking massive. Okay, so this is one thing. 
Uh, same for me. Lotus, I finding out the, uh, what, yeah, bootlegs just aren't as good, but hey, sometimes you take what you can get. I think I ended up getting a Trigun bootleg, which wasn't my intention. I thought I was buying the real thing when I bought it, and then when I got it, it was like, this is, this is a bootleg. Granted, it was a decent bootleg, but it was not the real thing. That was unfortunate. Uh, I think this is the way I want to go. Nope, not the way we want to go. We might need to get up on that ledge somehow. But maybe it's over here. Could be over here. Yeah, it's probably up this way. If memory serves correctly, unless I'm in... Okay, yeah, I'm in Canal Mid. We need to get to Canal East. And the easiest way to do that from here is to get back... Oh, look at that. A treasure chest we missed. I knew we missed a treasure chest. Oh, cool. That would have been nice to get earlier. Whatever. Wow, I do so much damage. So much more damage now. Yeah, that would have been a lot better to find earlier, but whatever. Shit. All right, where is... I mean, one thing I think we can do... Shit, I'm gonna have to go down. Is go back out to the Solomon Shrine and find... Oh, fuck, is this really it? Wait, is that really it? Oh, fuck, that's really it? No, that can't really be it. Hmm, all right. I'm just gonna mosey around. I think this is where we came down, right? Yeah, this is where we came down. We need to go circle around. Hmm. This isn't that big a deal. If memory serves me correctly, though, what we need to do is cycle around this whole fucking thing and get around to the left side. I don't think I wanted to exit. Yeah, we're in the god. Okay, that's right. This is how we get to the goddess's castle. We don't want to be here. So we got here. We got that treasure chest. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Where is Seraph going? Uh, maybe this is where I need to go? So there was a grate that passed over, right, okay. Now we might be cooking here with gas. Okay, let's head over this way. Hopefully there's another stairway down over this way. That's where we, I'm pretty, yeah, this is where we need to go. So we're getting closer here. Just gotta figure out how to get over there. I can't go down those stairs, right? Because there's a grate, or is there not a grate? Oh no, there's no grate. Okay, that's the stairway I need down. Okay. All right, we're getting this. I just have to make my way over there. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh God, I famous last words here. Damn it. Fuck, how do you get to those... How do you get to those stairs? Man, this is bullshit. Wait, this is bullshit. How do you get up there? Wait, am I... Well, that's... Oh, there's nothing to be found up there anyway. That's not... All right, so that, okay, let's go down. I got, I think I got thrown off by seeing that stairwell, stairway that goes nowhere. But no, that, wait. Am I totally misremembering this? I mean, I could go up to the Solomon Shrine and mark my way back over, but I don't think that's a good long-term plan for success here. Now, let me look around. No, that's not going to lead me anywhere. All right. Well, I was joking about getting lost. But here we go again. The canal at least isn't so bad because 
at least so much of it is familiar. Now nah, I'm going back the way I came, but I don't think I went up this way. Uh, actually, this does look familiar. Ah, uh, that might be that might be what we needed. All right, now let's head back this way. See if I can make my way over this way. All right, now we're above the grate, uh, but that's not what I need. I need to be up this way. <laughs> oh, great, no great. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, but I think now we're, I think now we're, uh, yeah, that's what I needed. Okay. Now we should be in Canal East. Yep. Okay. And now that other dude that was turned to stone was all the way at the fucking bottom. So we need to get to the bottom. Somehow. I think this is what I want. See, at least I vaguely remember where shit was. Okay, that's where we ultimately want to go. That door. Think. Think? I think that's where I... Man, oh, shit. Maybe I was thinking where I truly wanted to go. But, uh, ultimately, we can't get down to the... Oh, fuck. Come on. Let's go back this way. Hmm. Where was he? Heath was all the way up in the, in the upper right. Nope, that's not going to lead us in. Well, does this lead us anywhere? Yeah, that's just a grate. Then there's another grate down here, right? Yeah, okay. So I need another stairwell up that is not that one. Really not another one? Shit. That's the way out. Fuck! Maybe let's head back this way. Um, nope, that leads all in the same boat. Okay. This is really the only way up. So... We don't... So what I'm doing right now is pseudo-optional. But... It's, um... Gonna be really helpful, because if we find the now unfrozen... Sada. 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 Which is kind of what we're gonna need. Damn, really? I need to get over on the left side, I think. Just getting thrown off by how to get over there. So let's go. Alright, let's go deal with this shit. And then if this all fails, I don't. This should be a dead end. Right? Seraph's memory is working correctly with that. We can't go over that way. And that's a stairwell that leads nowhere. That just leads us all in the same boats. So let's go over. Let's go over that way. Let's cross the grate and see if there's anything I can do over here. Oh, that just takes me over here. Shit. Did I remember this wrong? Is he in a different spot? Fuck, is he in a different spot than I remember? Is he not in Canal East? I thought he was in Canal East. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, Seraph, did you remember wrong? Hmm. Oh, man. We really, really, really need that Seda guy. But I could swear that when I saw him, I did the status and it was Canal East. Unless there's a different way to go. Could be there's a different way to go. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that the doorway there ultimately what's gonna uh, take us where that's gonna lead us down to that area. Because we can't even get down to that to that lower area where we are. We need to go through this to the statue to get to that. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Yeah, I knew this. I had a feeling this part would be a little tricky. Damn, right. That's, that's a dead end. Did I really go through every other way? And of course, there are so many different ways to go that it's really hard to figure out what you've ruled out. As we found out... No, that's dead end. We definitely did that like three times. Fuck. There's gotta be another stair up. I must have... No, that is... Yeah. Okay, 
I have to get over there. That's that's the key here. I have to get over there. Maybe there's another way down that I just don't remember. Another way down. Well, that's promising. Let's try this. I don't think I was over here all that much. Okay, there's a grate there. So that's possible. Okay, let's try this. Oh, okay. Uh, that that's who you're, that's who I'm looking for. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright. I was not crazy. Yeah, I'm in Canals. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about I was not crazy. That wasn't too bad. Just got a little turned around. Is it you removed that wretched curse from me? I'm Sada from Ramia Village. I came to the shrine to rescue my ah, uh, was his girlfriend Maria from the goons. But instead, I was cast to stone by the evil wizard, Dallies. Yeah, he did that to everybody, but... Oh, my. <laughs> so you couldn't save Maria. I guess there was nothing you could do. I'm sure you tried your best, Tattle. Yeah, we, we tried our best. Since Maria is gone, I guess I won't be needing this. <laughs> this is, like, so depressing, right? Let me give it to you to show my appreciation of your efforts. We found some amazing armor in this shrine. I've been keeping it at my... Oh, I forgot about that. I've been keeping it at my father's house. You'll probably need this armor in your fight against the goons. There we go. That sword is definitely what we need. Okay. This being the case. Now we've got the Claria sword. Village? That's right. Do you say anything now, or do you think... Yeah, the... <laughs> Nobody, nobody's broken the news to her yet. That is our family sword. How did you get it? Did you see my son, Sada? Oh, what a relief. You've saved him. Thank you so much. He really didn't need saving. He was just lost. Please take this armor with you in return for your bravery. There we go. All right, so depending on what goes on here... Yeah, we definitely missed some armor because we never found the fucking iron ore in the mine, so I had to skip some armor for a little bit there. That probably made me much more squishy. Uh, we may or may not have missed the shield. The shield may still await us. I'm a little worried that I haven't found the magic of invincibility. Did I miss it? Um... So I could... Oh, I don't want to do the magic of transform. Let's, uh... Alright, I'm thinking we will... Yeah, let's just go to the Goddess's Castle real quick. We'll, uh... We'll regenerate all our MP. And then we'll just transport ourselves to Ramia Village. And then we'll begin the endgame here. I didn't know how long it would take me to track down Seda. So as it turns out... 28 minutes. Yeah, it would have taken us an hour to beat it last time. Final batter is near. I've told the descendants of the six priests to come to the core of the shrine. They're now on their way. We'll need all of your bravery and might, and plus that really badass Claria sword and shield. Please come to the core as soon as you are able. Yep. Well, let me do... Yeah, we're not even going to talk to them on the way out. Ramia Village. fire. Time to head back to the Solomon Shrine one last time. Oh, and Magical Transform, right. Yeah, they're still giving me the same blah blah blah. Which is good, because, you know, we kind of needed that a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, the Idol Falcon is an ultimate homing beacon. So now we just go back up into this bullshit. this boss room and I don't even think I have to equip it we just go right here yep so now this will look very familiar we were just here you know what uh no can't go that way Perfect. and so now we're down in that area that we saw before but we couldn't get to 
but now we can get to the core. Yeah, I can't shoot from up here. Oh, I could go this way. Is there a treasure chest? Nope. There is nothing. <laughs> okay. So Seraph remembers extremely little about this part. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just save Adalys' room. And if this is too hard, uh, we'll warp back to Lance Village and we'll get ourselves the life drop. But I would like to keep the life drop for Garm. Here we are. So, you would like a chance to die. And I, the great wizard, will give you that opportunity. I am a most generous man. Your magic is worthless against my superior power. Yeah, this I remember. So if I shoot him with... Oh, that's why I didn't even bother with it. It doesn't even activate. Alright. I think we just... This is going to be a short battle. Holy shit, never mind. This is why I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god. Well, all that uh, getting lost in the shrine paid off. We overleveled, and now we're just going to curb stomp this bitch. Glass cannon wizard, you can't take a sword. Boo! And now we're max level. Sweet. Let us... Okay. Now magic of... Uh, return. Okay. Now before I go further, we're going to buy ourselves the... Uh, that life drop. And that way, when we go lose all of our HP meter, we're going to just get it right back. I did not want to waste that on some shitty boss along the way. Yep. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, it's the only time you can buy it. I don't think you have to equip it. But, uh... Alright, fine. Let's talk to Bernice here real quick. We'll let her... You can't get a free freaking MP recharge without, uh, talking to somebody. I'm still trying to find down Lilia. I actually found her in some hideaways, but, you know, then she just ran. <laughs> Ramia Village. Okay, now is our last trip to Ramia Village. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the life drop. Yes, I know this is Ramia Village. I've been here a crap ton of times. Not gonna matter, because we're gonna have to equip the magic of transform. Oh, the gate card's missing. Left his post. Fucks up with that. Yep, meeting's finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that meeting is finished. And now I'm here to really end your meetings. Back up, here we go. Now, time to put an end to this bullshit once and for all. I'm a little worried that I never found the magic of invincibility, but we've got the life drop. So in absence of that, we'll at least we'll at least have that. If I have the magic of invincibility, we'll just beat Darm in one go, I think. Even with the life drop, I, I'm he may still kill me once or twice. But maybe not. I mean I remember it pretty I remember the fight that's coming up pretty decently. So he was a bitch. Oh, what is this? Ah, the magic of shield. Here's where it was. Cool. I... I'd venture to guess we're going to do pretty well here. Oh, Tarf. I didn't even know... it's me, Tarf. I have so much to tell you, but now is not the time. Quick, we must get back. Everyone is waiting for us.
Well, this is fucked up. This is actually more fucked up than I remember. You must be Adolf. I am Maria. He's down here in the balcony and he brought me here. He said that there were fragments of the shattered bracelet in my body. Maybe the bracelet was a substitute. For I'm sure the thing could make a shattered me. I've heard stories of the goddess who cast the stone by the demon's evil curse. We don't have a second to spare. Hurry! Wow, the game didn't mix the audio well in that one. I could barely understand her there, but Keith rescued her from the Belfry, apparently. Uh, some amulet she had uh, spared her from instant death, so I guess she had some sort of uh, pen, like one of those types of pendants. She's just kind of said, keep going on. Hopefully everybody else is... Tarf, at least, we were able to hear. Maria was really difficult to hear there, though. Who else are we going to... Wait, what? That's gonna open in a second. Yep. Adolf, this way. <laughs> hey, Keith. If you travel down this passage, you will eventually reach the goddesses. On the way, you'll find Decca. He will assist you. Say, I wish all of them. No, oh, he's not gonna talk to me anymore. Once again, Keith being a bro. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> so Decca talking about how to get past this barrier. I can't get through it. It doesn't damage me, though. Uh, and then it says, hey, I think I saw some movement down here. Could it have been a goon? You see a flash of black around the next corner. I actually remember. This I remember. Someone has just been through here. Hey, Lilia. So, uh, yeah, Lilia wandered around again. Um, luckily, she got, I think she got bailed out by Keith. And uh, then she ran into a girl in the ruins who gave her this ring. Um, and that seems to have protected her. It was is essentially what I could make out there. I think you don't tell me anything else. I haven't seen any goons lately, so I think it's safe for me to stay here a while. So, yeah, she, at least she had the sense to hide out in here. It's amazing for as much as she wanders around how she didn't get herself killed. Now, I do think I have to equip the goddess's ring. When you touch the ring to the barricade, power ceases and you may cross the threshold. Perfect. Please hurry to help the goddesses. I'll meet you later. Yeah, once this music is over, hopefully uh, we can actually hear what people are saying again. That, luckily, that was not a big problem with this game. It certainly is a problem here. Ah. Uh, here we are. An eerie voice echoes from inside the room. The goddesses are in a hopeless situation. There is no way that you can defeat me now. A fight without the power of the goddesses doesn't scare me. Seven hundred years ago, I almost had the whole country of Ys under my control. But those forsaken goddesses managed to lock me up. I have suffered ten thousand years of humiliation, and I will remember every minute of it when I revenge my anguish. Now... My time has finally come. The world of East will soon be mine, and I will show them all just how wicked we demons can be. You animal! You know well that I cannot let you do that. 
East is now back where it belongs. Don't you forget about me. I am the bandit, Goban. Remember these two from Darm Tower? <laughs> well, Goban never actually went inside the tower. Hey, doll, it looks like I got here right in the nick of time. Please, play this silver harmonica. The silver harmonica. How the fuck did he find it? Goban throws the harmonica to Adol. And once again, we have the silver harmonica, which we left in Darm Tower. I forgot this bit. Adol starts to play an old familiar tune. Well, good thing we got that harmonica. What the fuck are you guys doing here? You've reached the final battle against Darm. It's time that you showed him what a great swordsman you truly are. Hey, Luda. Adolf, where have you been? It's me, Luda Gemma. I've brought you the Shield of Claria. You must have this to fight off Darm. Use it wisely. So I guess it's good that I didn't look everywhere for it. That would have been embarrassing. Hell yeah! What's this? Oh. Okay, so remember... Uh, well, no, I don't remember. This, but yeah. Huh. Interesting. Now, we talk to the goddesses. I owe you more than you can ever imagine. I am Lair, the goddess of Ys. Through your courageous battle, you have defeated Dark Fact in Darm Tower. Dark Fact was the direct descendant of Priest Fact. He tried to use the magical power of Claria to release the demons, which have been sealed up for hundreds of years. He wanted to control the entire land, but greed has its limitations, and you caused the demise of that demon. When we sealed the demons in, we also buried the magical mineral Claria deep within the ground. Several hundreds of years have passed, and Claria has since been excavated as silver. You know the rest of the story. But now you must fight your final battle against Dawn, the most sinister of all evils. I know that you are a most worthy warrior, and I want you to use my ring for this dangerous showdown. The ring can weaken the power of evil, and my blessing can give your sword the force of ease. Courage to the end, dear Adol. Your sword begins to glow. This is the final battle. Good luck. And now another familiar voice. Oh, Adol. How I have longed to see you. Remember me? I am Fina. When we last met, I didn't reveal my true identity. But now I must tell you that I am one of the two goddesses of East. You have been superb in your conquest to suppress the demons, but they will revive themselves unless you put an end to their source of evil. Their power comes from the enormous black pearl in the rear room. If you can shatter the pearl, then they will lose their evil flame, and we will have a chance to defeat them forever. So please, use all your courage to destroy their evil energy. I'm glad I got that eyelash now. At all. Oh my, that was the wrong voice for that. <laughs> at all. No, I'm not doing voices. Uh, at all. All my love. All right. So this is the part where I originally saved it on my original Turbo Graphics, and hence why I really didn't remember a whole lot of this. But the rest of this should go pretty easy. Let me just make sure I see it. Just so I can... Okay. Let's see. We got Goddess's Ring. We need to equip that, I think. Let's just resave that. All right. Wear this ring to fill your heart with courage. Yep. All right. I don't think there's anything else to do here. So we are going to Magic of Shield. <laughs> and uh, away we go here. 
do this. Let's see if we can take him out in one shot. I am pure evil. My followers and I were born from the dark magic of the Black Pearl. I am the living epitome of terror and destruction. You don't stand a chance against my forces of decimation. I shall crush and consume. That is pretty good smack talk. I don't need to worry about these things at the moment. So we're just going to do as much damage to him before the magic of shield rins out. Damn it. Can't get to him up there. Yeah, I'm about to run out. Then I'll have to worry about avoiding all this bullshit. But we've already got him like halfway down. <laughs> yep, that's it for the magic. Come here. Yep. Let's clip you pretty good. Damn it. Come here. Thank you. I'm not going to get there in time. It's just... He does teleport around pretty fast. Didn't even need the life drop. Go to hell, you fucking bastard. So yeah, Dally's and uh, Darm ended up not being that much of a challenge. Holy shit. Everyone's face sparkles with happiness. Fina and Lair, the descendants of the six priests, and Lilia are all waiting for you. So yeah, five or what? Five or six streams won this. Yep, we won. <laughs> yes, we did. At all, you did it. You've overcome the impossible. My full name is Tarf Hadal. I am a descendant of the ancient priest Hadal. Hadal, rather. Your fighting skills are dazzling. What a joy to see you slash Darm to oblivion after he had ripped our lives apart. I must admit, however, I was still a bit worried about the powers of the Black Pearl. But when I heard the shattering sound of crystal, I knew our lives were safe. So now we can enjoy our peace and freedom without the looming presence of doom. I wish the text would just go faster. <laughs> I know I should be smiling, but I can't hold back my tears of joy. Tarf, please don't cry. You <laughs> make me cry too. My full name is Maria Messa, which was why I wish she was, they were after her. The wizard Dallies wanted me as a sacrificial lamb, but he didn't know who he was, who Maria was, so he was just asking for villagers, eventually knowing he would track down the descendant he was looking for. He thought my cries of anguish would bring the other descendants. Oh, well, okay, that too, I guess. Descendant, descendant instead of hiding. The reason why I didn't die was because of the protection of the priest's bracelet which I think she alluded to earlier. The demons were frantic in their attempts to exterminate us. They believed that they had awakened the goddesses. Well, uh, it sort of did. I think Dark Fact is the one who actually inadvertently awakened them. Uh, they knew that they had to kill us or they themselves would face annihilation. So they began sacrificing the villagers in a process of genocidal elimination. Fun fact, this game is where I learned <laughs> the word genocide. Uh, the peace is now returned to the world at the cost of many villagers' lives. We'll build a memorial on top of the belfry to commemorate their courage. At all. By gosh, you've done it. 
I knew you could from the first time I met you in Ramia Village. We all felt you were the chosen one who would lead our land to freedom. Too bad the fortune teller Sarah, who really kicked off this whole adventure, got killed by the demons. By the way, I'd like you to come by our village soon. Everyone wants to see you. Evan is getting better, and he wants to congratulate you on your success. It's me, Keith. You probably didn't recognize me without my pale green tint. Since you eliminated the source of evil, my green goon curse was lifted. Now I can live as a human again. What a horrific experience I've had. I really thought I would die in Burnland Prison. My life passed in front of me, my eyes rather, and then I focused on a single moment. I remembered watching a beautiful sunset with my dear sister. She remarked on how be she believed that not all the goons were bad. Well, we met some goons that weren't so bad. The duck quays in uh, Burnland, in that quarter of Burnland. Moments later, we were ambushed by a pack of demons. The next thing I knew, she lay dead at my feet. I don't remember that. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rain on this celebration. Yeah, Keith. Way to go. Why don't you read the room, bro? This is a time for joy and happiness. Let me express my appreciation once again. Thank you very much. But yeah, also pointing out the rooms where... Yeah, I need therapy. <laughs> At all, you've done a great job. I can remember watching Darm Tower from the ground. We did see him uh, at the end of East 1. Suddenly, a bolt of light burst from the top of the tower into the skies. I never imagined that the bolt was actually you. You are a leader of men and a model of courage, At all. We need a soul like yours to inspire our devastated land and to restore our prosperity. We need your help. Please stay with us in Hysteria. At all, you were wonderful. Ooh. Let me tell you about a strange dream I had before coming here. In the dream, a mystic voice of harmony told me to go to Solomon's Shrine. She told me that the great land of East was coming back down from the skies. When I awoke, I looked up to find East right in front of me. I rushed into the shrine because I knew you must be in great danger. It was then that I gave you the silver harmonica. At all. You've changed our lives. It was the magic power of East that kept the land floating in the sky, out of harm's reach. And it was from the same power that the evil was created in the first place. Opposites born from the same source. Magic is mysterious indeed. We created the magic to make a better life, but we all allowed ourselves to be manipulated. How ironic that we could be controlled and terrorized by our own innovations. We sometimes allow our materialistic greed to overcome our simple needs. The only real need we have is love. Yes, Gobon. <laughs> anyway, the peace is back. We should all be grateful. Oh, by the way, Colin is looking forward to seeing you, Dogi. Oh my god, they're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can just... There's a reason why I play these games and my freak butt does not play these games. <laughs> oh, at all, how glad I am to see you. They're going to be talking for a little while, man. Sorry. <laughs> I was actually worried you had started out when you started out in your final battle. Uh, and now you're back alive. I, I... Let it out, Lilia. I know you've got a crush on Adol. Poor villagers. Come on, go for it! He's all, he's all, these villages are all assholes. Go, go, please go, man. Don't embarrass me. Our land was ripped apart over 700 years ago. We haven't seen our relatives since. But you have provided us with this remarkable reunion. This is a most marvelous day. Now that the magic power has been removed, our presence here is no longer needed. It's time that the people start believing in themselves. Before we subside, we will make sure that only we, the goddesses, control the magic. And the people will have peace and happiness forever. Throughout the coming ages, we'll never forget about you. At all. Fina and Adol are gazing into each other's eyes. Well, I guess we should let them be alone. <laughs> That's a good idea, Maria. Well, Adol, we'll be off now. 
Good luck. <laughs> oh, Adolf. I don't know what to say. How can I thank you for saving me? The basement of the shrine was such an eerie place. After that, I went to Jeva's house. I met a lot of people that I never knew before. And I learned a lot about the wonderful world of East. But the best thing that has happened to me is that I had a chance to meet you. For the first time in my life, I was able to speak with the heart of a girl. It is hard to feel human when your soul is of a goddess. Well, I must go. Lair is waiting for me. Adolf? Promise that you'll always remember the girl in me. So. Yes, get over there! <laughs> I'm gonna need more water in a minute. But yeah, considering how long it took us to get here. But yeah, the end is a little text heavy, but now that's what East looks like complete from a distance. I think we probably have a good 10, 15 minutes of, uh, of this, if memory serves me correctly. But yeah, in the 90s, this was, this was pretty cool. I mean, I definitely preferred this than just, thank you for playing, it's like, that was really fucking hard and all you're gonna do is give me a five minute thank you or a five second one oh that used to piss me off so much and I think canonically Adol is like 16 in this game it's basically like just a kid <laughs> yes <laughs> yes, freak bot. So many times of that bullshit. And then to the great re regret of everybody, they never actually that perfectly placed orb. <laughs> yes, you're a winner. And all the fucking English. <laughs> bad we didn't have the life drop for the freaking bat monster in East 1. That's the one we needed it for, as it turns out. And the end credits, which also they, they had fun with. remember some of these characters doing some fairly funny things. Let's see if Seraph's memory is accurate on that. <clears throat> 
fucking dallies. <laughs> Keith, who is a very busy NPC in the background. <clears throat> there we go, dark fact. Poor ghosty, he's gonna show up and be like, fuck, I missed it! <laughs> That's alright, it'll be on YouTube. <clears throat> I wonder how many of these voice actors ended up going on to having real careers. Freakbot will be the one to really notice those. I never noticed or pieced together that the narrator and Darm were the same person. <laughs> <clears throat> They must have run it through a filter, obviously, but I mean, still, that's pretty funny. I wonder how many of these companies... Yeah, right. <laughs> <clears throat> See, this, if I remember correctly, this is the game that put Falcom on the map. So there we go. Nice little game for my childhood here. All right. So that being the case, yeah, we're only uh, an hour in. I was right. It was a fucking hour. <laughs> if I didn't get so bloody lost in looking around for uh, for that door at uh, Solomon East or yeah, Solomon East, we would have been able to finish this last stream. Uh, so yeah, um, let's see, uh, Freakbot's voting, uh, last alert. I'm going to get some water and take a quick pause. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what we want to do. I could either do that. I could do, and I just could just do a bunch of random, uh, TurboGrafx grab bag games. I could play blazing lasers or error blasters or any other, uh, games I already have, uh, could stay in theme and see how far I could get in East three in one th in one go. Hell, I might be able to beat. So I used to be able to beat East 3 in like three hours. So I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, shit, I could probably, I could probably do it. But that might be a little ambitious. Um, so let's see. I'll go grab some water. We'll see if anybody else has any votes. Um, and if anybody else doesn't have any other votes, we'll fire up some last alert and we'll see how far we can get in that. I shall return shortly.
I have returned. No other votes. So that uh, being the case, looks like it's the last alert. So let's go back to that. Get this all fired up here. Got that working. Cool. Let's close out of that. Yeah, why not? We'll do last alert. I have three of those, but that's see. <laughs> and oh, for anybody else who does not know the story of last alert, boy, are you guys in for a treat. <laughs> oh, man. Game capture should grab it in a second. Two seconds. Okay, it was two seconds. <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea what's about to happen to you. <laughs> We, the Special Mission Unit, were sent here to rescue hostages upon a request from the Lloyd government. There was, however, no sight of a camp at the designated location. We had been tricked by the Lloyd regime. What met our eyes instead was... <laughs> How could Lloyd's government betray us? Cur <laughs> Colonel Kadat of the Republic of Libid, Mr. Lee of the Hong Kong Mafia, Chairman Steve of the Dual Foundation, Dr. Garcia, a brilliant physicist. With these four as its core figures, Force Project, an international armed band, began its evil activities. Its aim was to rule the world by organizing massacres, blackmailing, terrorism, and smuggling of weapons. Oh, yeah, I should also update the uh, stream info. Good call, Ghosty. Yes, Mr. President. We're certain that Lloyd betrayed us. It seems that the Force Project is behind them. Their ability should not be underestimated. Yes, I have someone in mind. Let me handle this. Is it over? He's entrusted me with the task. So you'll ask him then? The only person who could possibly fight the Force Project is this man. Guy Kazama is the only one. Oh, shit. Let it at least be on that screen for a minute. <laughs> hey, Ghosty, welcome back. Sorry, you missed the uh, the end of... Um, you missed the end of... Uh... With... Uh, God, what's, what stream title should we go with here? Just playing Last Alert? Yeah, probably. Yeah, just watch it on YouTube. Good call. <laughs> Let's see, does it actually allow me? Oh, it does have it! There we go. Twitch should update either immediately or in another couple of minutes. It does have a great soundtrack, though. Uh, but yeah, I had a feeling there wasn't going to be a whole lot uh, left of, uh, of East Book 1 and 2. It's even going to give me the continue option. Uh, probably have to hit run. Yep, there it is. I thought I'd find you here. I thought we'd always do things together, even when we die. We've received a report that Lloyd and the Force Project jointly developed a stealth aircraft. You're not expecting me to steal it. That's what I want. Spartan has already infiltrated into Lloyd's frontline base, Blue Rhinos. He'll be your assistant on this mission. Well, I owe Lloyd and the Force Project one, and I always make it a rule to get square with these guys. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I thought this was like, I thought this game was awesome. This one did not age well, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, so I ended up watching the Red Supreme of this. <clears throat> and so uh, the color of the uh, uh, of the level tells you roughly what you're supposed to be doing. 
So uh, yeah, it'll be. I'm gonna definitely put it up on my on my YouTube, Ghosty. No no sweat. <laughs> There's a lot of talking uh, at the end. Like I would say half of it was. All right, let's. That's the button for that. So the one button does something different. Let's see. All right, Zach so does this. Okay, this does that. All right, what button does this do? That pauses the game. Okay. That allows me to control this. Okay. Okay. Let's see. How much does Seraph remember of how to play this fucking game? With the slowest moving bullets imaginable. Shit, 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 shit. Damn it. And of course, enemies just keep spawning. No! Damn it. Stop spawning over there. <laughs> oh, I got that. So this pistol kind of sucks. Oh, okay. That's right. That allows me to do this. Oh, shit. Good. We didn't fire then. Like that. Good. We got our first rank. We're now a sharpshooter. <laughs> got my health back. Damn it. Him. Okay. Not that I needed it. Of course, running into the enemies hurts you. Don't go that far. Damn it. Kill him. Thank you. <clears throat> Guys, Azama, if you don't want the hostage killed, you should keep quiet. Guy, the stealth bomber is in the back of this factory. <laughs> okay, Spartan, hang in there just a while longer. Yep, got my baseball launcher. This is good boss music, though. Try and do that again, Seraph. There we go. Got it. Okay, you've successfully rescued your colleague and obtained the necessary information. Proceed with the uh proceed with him to the hangar. Uh yeah, okay, Barney. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, so the yellows are sabotage missions. We gotta we gotta blow, essentially blow stuff up. So we gotta set eight time bombs and blow up the base. This also this first hub is linear. And Right the Not want to do that. What, uh, the left button is what... What am I doing? I am hitting all the wrong buttons. But you know what? I'd rather waste those because I don't even... I'm not even a fan of that. Oh, God damn it. Okay, this isn't so bad. I'll use this until it runs out. Oh, sniper. And that ran out. On. Up here. Let's see how much of this I remember. Now we're in a big, kind of larger area. Damn it. I probably wanted to save that health kit, but oh well. Back over here. Damn you! <clears throat> there. Here. That guy. So when we kill these guys, they don't respawn? Nah. But at least... So yeah, whoever the Let's Player was playing this game for Retsupre was actually pretty good. It made the game look way easier than it is. Yeah, you can't fire through the plane.
Damn it. Shoot him. Thank you. I don't think there's another one over here, but let's look anyway. Damn it. Nice job, Seraph. All right. They're giving me a lot of health kits, though, so that's good. How many do I need? Doesn't tell me. Him. Cool. Good deal. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't remember what rank certain things happen at. But that works. At least I remember the controls for the most part. I just gotta not hit the wrong button. Arrgh. Launcher back. Avoid the baseball. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I see there's a welcoming committee out for me. Learn to strafe, noob. Oh, ran too far forward to the tank. As soon as he's gonna pop his head in a second. Oh, we got this guy. He's. I remember this one being fairly easy. <clears throat> Bombs have been set. We're gonna now uh, go to grab the stealth aircraft. Oof. Board the stealth aircraft piloted by your teammate and escape from base. So, one of the things I might do with this, when I'm not hitting the wrong button, uh, is anytime you die, you actually keep the XP. And one of the nice parts about this mission is you can get a lot of XP from these uh, vehicles. So I may just end up doing this twice, depending on how this goes. I may decide to do that, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I decide to cheese it or not. I may decide to cheese it just because it's been so long. I may want to uh, cheese it a little bit and take a death on purpose just to um, just for that little XP boost. So yeah, strafing in this board is pretty much key. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. It's coming back to me. And avoid that though. Had to open my mouth. Stealth fighter should show up pretty soon. Oh, I timed it wrong. Yep, there it is. So now I just have to decide to board it or take the XP boosts here. I think I'll just hang out, get a little XP, but then we'll board the then we'll board the plane. I don't need that. Right, let's do it. Boarding. Let's get the hell out of here. Put your helmet on, we'll be reaching speeds of three! <laughs> yeah, right. from the Force Project. You'll have to come with me. Did you hear about the jetliner that crashed in the Republic of Flett on the eastern side a week ago? It seems President Allman has been taken prisoner. It looks like President Allman is imprisoned in a camp on top of Mount Alt, about 50 kilometers northwest of the crash site. That's why I want you to. You don't have to say any more than that. So we have to rescue the president now. So go to the camp on top of the mountain and rescue the president. Mm.
Yep. Got an M16 now. Just essentially just a spread gun. But if I had kept going, I could have had the grenade launcher already. Yeah, I'd have to use the grenade to get to that guy. Which I got. Bad Seraph. So that's one of the kind of hacks of this game. If you're really close to something, it'll increase the fire rate, and then you can move really quickly to get an extra burst. I don't know if the game was designed with that in mind, but I do remember abusing that at certain points. Saw that guy there. This is coming back to me. Although this isn't really the hard area. Remember which way I should go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> damn. Why? Damn it. Whatever. That's right, I remember that being a little uh, goofy. To get into. The game's giving me more uh, health kits than I remember, so that's good. I, I'm gonna need them, because I am not getting through this completely unhurt. <laughs> you know what, let's take it anyway. Eh, we can't get him. We'll scroll him off the screen. Wow, another health kit? Well, at least he'll never do it again. Damn it! Fool! Almond's already been taken away. But you were bad enough to. Well, then all I need to do is let you tell me where he is. <laughs> God damn! That. Oops. Try that again. Must fail. And we got this guy. You found the enemy where the president is. He seems to have been transferred to another base. <laughs> Who's talking right now? There's no flip flop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that scene always is hilarious. It's like, are they talking telepathically? What's going on? <laughs> what are you going, bad enough, dude? <laughs> Rescue all of the hostages the base and find the president. Keep using that as my attack button. Up, oh, yep. Freakbot's favorite tank buster. So now we gotta rescue a bunch of hostages. Let's see. Trying to remember what the easiest way to navigate through this mission is. Let's see how much does Seraph remember. And of course you are limited to a timer. I think the only purpose of this were items. I mean, you do get points for killing them, so it's worth it to do. But, yep, there's nothing else in here. Okay, it was just items. Cool. I think one of these buttons swaps the items. It's snowmen. <laughs> eh, don't think I wanted to go this way. I think I wanted to go back to the original way. Fortunately, you can't shoot the hostages. You just have to grab them like that to set them free. There's these two. There's the Force Project emblem. But I think there's one over this way that I need to still get. Oh, 
Goddamn. Set up well by the other one. Pretty sure there was a... Yep. Alright. Got that one. I wish it would tell you how many you are. But you know, Tree Wrangler. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun laughing at this fucking game. <laughs> But yeah, this game would be so much harder if you could shoot the hostages. God, can you imagine? That'd be such bullshit. Definitely needed that health kit. Damn. Fucker got me. I think I, oh, that was cheese ball, and you know it. Can't get through there. Into this. Oh, that's just the road. Right. Been through here already. Here. Considering I really don't remember this game very well, it's actually kind of remarkable that I'm remembering where to go. I almost wonder, is it like some sort of weird kind of muscle memory where some part of your brain remembers it? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't think I'm supposed to be this way. I think this is the end of the level. I think I should have gone up that other way first, but let's just... Since I've already committed to it... And you can run out of time, and if you run out of time, you're dead. Yep. I went the wrong way. This is the boss area. So I gotta find one more. I think one more. Hopefully only one more. Do do do. Do 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 do. When I was playing this game regularly, button. I had a system for how I went through this level. So that I would make sure I got everybody and didn't have to do any backtracking. Shit. There's one more somewhere? Fuck. Oh, uh, where's the last one? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Is it all the way at the beginning? Seraph. Fuck. Because if we got them all, it would give me a message. We did go up, right? Yeah, we, well, maybe we didn't go up, up. We definitely didn't go this way, because we don't have that. I would have picked up that. Can't go up. Nope, can't go up. <laughs> Are you supposed to be this way? <laughs> hey, Dark Star! Help me! I don't think we went around this way. Yes, we did. Fuck. Um. We didn't go this way. See, so yeah, we're playing the, uh, if you're just jumping joining us, we're playing the ultra memeable last alert. Yeah, this is the very beginning of the level, and we went that way. Shit. Alright. Fuck. Ah, where is the last one? I did not go in any kind of normal systemic way either, so, so you know. It. I probably should have gotten those items and then backtracked to the very start so I knew what the fuck I was doing and then I could have gone in a more um, systemic way. So we got the two that were in the main pad there. Don't know if we went this way. Check this way real quick. If it gets down to, like, two minutes, we'll just have to book it and hope that, uh, maybe it just doesn't give us a message. It's 
possible it doesn't give us a message, but I'm... Yeah, we already came this way. We... Oh, nope, we didn't. There we go. Help me. There we go. All right, now we know where to go. Good grief, Seraph. Doing it the hard way here. What are you doing, Darkstar? Four minutes, Seamus. <laughs> Gotta go all the way this way and then up. Look out for that slow baseball. So yeah, this was Freakbot's suggestion after we beat East 2 in a uh, very quick time. President Allman, it's nice to see you're safe. Thank you. I'm glad to see you made it safely. Now it's time for you to die. <laughs> According to the rescued hostage, the real president seems to be leaving from the port for the enemy headquarters. Hurry! <laughs> oh, man. Defeat the enemy and rescue the president. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this will not be the last level of this hub. Doing alright, finished my off-stream rebirth playthrough, so doing uh, grinding before tackling hard mode. Ah, nice. I'm still playing Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Uh, every so often I get a little further along on that. So uh, I, I haven't watched your streams because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. But, um, but yeah, once you start playing something, either once I catch up, or you start playing something different, you'll definitely see me in chat. Cool deal. Damn it. Keep hitting the wrong button. And we still are on our, uh... It's BS that they can clip through the tanks. Fuckers. It's bullshit! But what, uh... What was sorely lacking in voice acting talent for this game definitely got made up with the OST. And considering, you know, I mean, the Genesis had just come out. Uh, your primary competitor here was still the NES. This game is pretty good considering its contemporaries. But yeah, the voice acting talent was woefully bad. <laughs> Even for the time, it was like, why did you bother doing voice acting if you were going to do that bad of a job? <laughs> oh, convenient. I get hit. Oh, don't hit me. There we go. A lot of games in this era... Voice acting was so new. What happened to us a lot of the times the programmers were making the voice, uh, were doing the localization. So you had not necessarily fluent speakers, um, definitely weren't professional voice actors. You're not getting me. Yeah, walked right into that one. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, bullshit time. The president is an important guest for us too, you know. So it could be laughed at. I can't let him go. That makes me want to get him back even more. <laughs> and the boxes do damage to you because, of course, they do. All right, so why did the enemy spin before their faces burst in a plug explosion? Because <laughs> it was awesome, actually. But yeah, the, the animations are a little are a little corny. Uh, so it could be laughed at in 30 years for sure. <laughs> this is very sudden, Leonard. Well, take a look at this. This is Colonel Kadat of Libid. You know him? Well, he's a famous man controlling all the terrorists around the world. I'd even want to get an autograph from him. I want you to assassinate him. That wild horse, Robert, from the Green Berets phase? He's been captured and is in the Arcado camp. Colonel Kadat is in hiding. I hear that the only ones who know of his whereabouts are his guards, red, blue, and black. 
So I'll have the pleasure of becoming friends with them. <laughs> this is our love triangle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to sneak into the camp and get information about Colonel Kadat from Robert. But yeah, that dude is huge. Dark is a gigantic fucking adversary. So in the Red Supre, they're flying through with the M16. We're going to switch to this. Because you can sneak through and you won't have enemies jumping up your ass every two seconds. So you kind of have to switch to the pistol. I do not remember what the fuck I'm doing here. Lots of explosions. Oh. Not you. This time I'm going to try and do this in a more systemic way. So I remember where I've been. We saw where that led us last time. Oh. And we got arrows to at least tell us where we should be going. But yeah, if you use a louder gun, enemies just start swarming you from everywhere. Mm. One shoot, vassal. Thank you. Here. Oh. Seraph's bladder is decided. Now is the time it wants to empty, but we're going to beat this level first, then I'm going to take a quick bio break. Make sure we don't miss anybody up here. That's also why the music also is um, more of like this jazz suspense music rather than something more action-based. Came up from that way. Kill you. Oh, and right, we got barrels. If I remember correctly, you can shoot those barrels and destroy them before they hit you, but... So I will take that before it fades. There we go. Perfect. So far, so good. Alright. Actually, I'm kind of doing pretty decently with this. Uh, this music sounds like it's from any late 80s, late 80s anime OVA, right? <laughs> You could definitely tell when this game was made. Now well, we killed him anyway. I didn't want to use a grenade to do it, but whatever. These barrels are coming. Couldn't remember where. I don't even remember what that does. I think it sucks, which is why I don't remember using it very much. Wow, I don't even need that. Give me points. No, nope, doesn't give me points. No point. Whatever. Could have left it. Doesn't anything. I think there's something up there that I want. Uh, oh, it's just an item. Fuck it. I think we're already maxed out on the rockets. Probably should. Let's see. Yep, I've got nine of everything. Let's see. What do I want to be activating instead? Do I want to go with that item? The rockets. The rockets are actually pretty cool. Flamethrower is not so bad. Ooh, that's right. I remember that. The flamethrower is fantastic for this enemy, I think. Uh, the boss of this level. Is that an enemy? No, that was just a barrel. Okay, we got to rescue all the hostages first. We can't just make a beeline to the exit. Sounds like wings of... Damn it. I needed to shoot that one. Well, I will take that. Thank you. Damn. Wasn't any reason to come in here either. I just didn't remember. Shots. Perfect. So far, so good. All right. This game is actually as fun as I remember. It is fun to play. Just the voice acting is shit. 
fucked up. I knew better. Well, I mean, I didn't know better. I barely remember this fucking game. <laughs> I certainly don't remember what's coming before it happens. Be nice. Although, oddly enough, that came back to me. Isn't that funny? Certain things do. We're almost to the end here. Hope I didn't miss a, anything, because there's no message. Cool. <laughs> I'll burn you to death with these flames. How do you want it done? Rare or medium? Sorry, I don't like roast pork. <laughs> I gotta imagine these things sounded better. Than they in their heads or than they intended than what it actually sounded like when we started playing these things. All right, so we found uh, uh, our contact here, and now we can actually choose which one we want to do. Uh, I'm gonna do these in order, um, but yeah, we're gonna have to defeat Red and obtain obtain information. Oh. Red's very skillful with shotguns and likes to fight on sandy terrain. Defeat Blue and obtain information. He dives into the water and swims very quickly. That one's God. Uh, that voice acting thing. Uh, and then defeat black and obtain information. He is uh, aboard a helicopter and makes an attack. Lovely. So I'm going to take a quick bio break and refill on water. Guy needs to work on his one-liners. Oh my God, does he ever. His one-liners are terrible. That only makes me want him even more. Like, you want to rescue him or you want to do something else, buddy? <laughs> I shall be right back. As Rob said, very bizarre love triangle. Okay, I am back. Boom. Excellent. Okay. Go back to this. The metal soldier. Damn. Back a good couple of times there. So, this is the first difficulty spike area of the game. As you can see, shit tons more enemies. Fuck! <laughs> I knew better. Knew better than to try that. I 
don't remember if there was anything over here. Nope, nothing over here. I'm just wandering over for no good reason. Grab that. Nope, you guys aren't ganking me from behind. Not happening. So thank you for the suggestion, Freakbot. This was a great idea. Not only is it fun to play, but we can laugh at the horrendously memeable voice acting. And you're right, Rob. If it weren't for uh, the voice acting, nobody would even have heard of this game practically. I think the only reason people know of it is because of the bad voice acting. So in a way, it being so bad is what's helped it endure. Oh, shit. Well, fine. Meant to throw a grenade, but whatever. It is what it is. Clear the way! Guy Kazama, you better watch what you say to me. I'm really quick on the trigger. I love how guys just come out of the ground. <laughs> and they'll keep coming out of the ground. Whatever. I have enough health, fuck him. From the tattoo on Red's back, you find where Colonel, uh, where the Colonel is. You find out where Colonel is. <laughs> yeah, they meant find out where the Colonel is. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, now we did a deal with Blue, and boy, this one's, this one's good. <laughs> ah, I couldn't get out of the way of that one. I don't think there's a wrong way to go, but there's definitely an easier and a harder way to go. I don't remember which one I picked. <laughs> General! Wait. Oh! I missed the rank where I got the grenade launcher. Shit! Time to really fuck up some bitches. It's right, take rocket! Spread gun with a fucking rocket. Sort of like Metallica, but instead of metal up your ass, take a rocket. Fuck. Of course, I talk smack and then get hit. But they did give me a first aid kit. That was nice. Boss time. This river's going to turn red with your blood. How interesting. But it's going to be your blood, not mine. <laughs> Great comeback there, Guy Kazama. Man, you really burned him there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's hit me a lot. Hey, Cleo. What was I doing too well? You gotta bite me? Hello, cat. Oh, and for anybody that was in, um,. I think it was Kara's chat. No, whose chat was it? Maybe Ghosty's chat. Um, what, the bees? Yeah, it was Ghosty's chat. Uh, hello, cat. Hi, honey. I love you, too. So I had a bunch of bees trying to get in. I say you. I say you. He did. But what if spread rock? What if? But what if spread rockets? Man, is a true wordsmith, right? Um, so speaking of the cat, the other day, uh, Ghosty's on. And uh, I'm watching his stream, which uh, I already did a shout out already, I think. Ooh, but speaking of shout outs, let's take care of a uh, shout out for Darkstar here. Of course, it would help if I actually clicked in here, wouldn't it? Doo -doo -doo. Excellent. So we're, we're having fun in there. Defeat Black and obtain information. He's the one that's aboard the helicopter. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. Not want to do that. One of these days I'm going to learn not to hit that fucking button. I wonder if I had that problem as a kid. I don't think I did. My guess is that I'm just an idiot today. Just got to get used to it. Oh, come on. 
Thank you. That's right, the chickens give me uh, health. Yeah, you really can't dawdle. Need that. Thank you. Ran in front of it. Give me items. Ah. I'd fucked up there, but I did that. But I managed to get out of it. Fucked up there too. Gotta love these like 80s, 90s style, really slow bullet deals. No, no, no. Hello, cat. Hi. Now she's going after the cables controlling my controller. Hello, kitty, kitty. One of these days, our old age brains will work properly. Right? Video game logic. Chickens drop grenades. Right, right, right. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. I know I love you too. So uh, while I got the game paused for a quick second, I'll finish that quick anecdote. Um, actually, I think we're I'll, I'll try and do it while I'm talking here. Uh, so yeah, I had a bunch of bees trying to get inside my house. Turns out it was the cat's fault. I found the bee that they were trying to get into. Uh, be behind my cat's litter box, specifically in the bedroom, right in front of the window they were trying to get into side of. Uh, mostly intact, except for the fact that it didn't have its wings anymore. Man, I'm getting ass kicked here. Shit, I took a lot of damage. No, uh, no health thing, huh? All right. Hey guys, let my baby Betty throw you a kiss. You're some weirdo naming your helicopter. <laughs> Let's see. Will it let me? Yeah, it will. Chit, chit, chit. Okay, this is where I want to be. I don't remember. Oh, right. You can't do damage to the cop chopper. You do damage to him when he comes back down. Got him. Cool. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, we got information. Uh, yeah, there seems to be many traps inside. Man, I needed him to tell me that. Funny other hello sprite sprite rich straight from Metal Gear. So I think that that helicopter sprite is also in Bloody Wolf. Because yeah, it, the, the sprite is exactly the same. Uh, it's literally the Hind D gunship in the original Metal Gear. That doesn't surprise me that they'd <laughs> borrow that particular uh, helicopter looks more like a camo sneaker. <laughs> so yeah, it does not surprise me at all that that asset was uh, ripped off. All right, so now we got to deal with Colonel Kadat. This way first. And yeah, there are a shit ton of traps. Man, I wish I could remember this shit. Man. Not a whole lot I could do about it. Well, I'll take that. Right, your health doesn't uh, recharge from mission to mission. That's why you don't want to get your ass kicked a lot. But there are some missions in the game that will... Uh... Is there another way around that? No, I don't think so. Pretty much... They're just items here. Fuck, this was not worth it. Yeah, not worth it. Let's see if I can find a health kit somewhere. Okay, so now Seraph's in trouble. I went the wrong way. Definitely was not worth going that direction. Let's see. Yeah, there are a lot of possibilities. Possible, whoops. Give me a second to deal with these traps. Or, all right, 
I think there's something over here I'm gonna need to want to look at, and of course it's trap. Of course it's trap. Hopefully I'm not wasting too much time. I only have two minutes. Shit. I don't think there's anything else I have to do though. I think there's just, you just have to get through it. There's obviously an easy way to go. Thank goodness for that health kit. Boy, did I need that. Okay. Guy Kazama, how dare you kill these precious men whom I've trained? Well, Colonel, you haven't done a very good job of training them. <laughs> right. The angle is the easier way to dodge his shit. Not that I did. Okay, that was a bad plan. Don't do that again, Seraph. Oh, shit. Ah! Fucked up. I love it. It gives you the option of just get the option to give up. Oh, it doesn't actually let me change to give up. Oh, you have to hit select to change it. We're going to continue. Uh... Okay, well, at least now we have full health. Of course, we're now out of items again. I don't need that now. Oh, that's why they give you this stuff on the left in case you needed the item. But I do not need items, so F that noise. So our first death is at the hands of Colonel Kadat. Totally not. Ugh. Well, that was at least easier to get. Totally not a ripoff of the... Of, um... Oh my god, I'm blanking on the guy's name now. Colonel Gaddafi. give you a lot of time to deal with this. Damn. Oh, Seraph! Come on, man! Can't be getting cheap-shotted like that. Alright, but we're at full health here. We got this. See. Let's go with that. Let's see what this does. Guy Kazama, how dare you kill these precious men whom I've trained? Well, Colonel, you haven't done a very good job of training them. I wonder how close I was to killing him. I was probably really close. Oh well. Mission accomplished. Right when trapdoor lasers be awesome? Be awesome. Oh shit. I have received information about a CIA dog, Guy Kazama, who assassinated a member of the Force Project, Colonel Kadat. He intends to enter the martial arts tournament you host every year to uh, kill you, Mr. Lee. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. So we plan to present you with three of the toughest fighters. By the way, 
Dr. Garcia, <laughs> how is the development of your ultimate weapon, Indra, coming along? <laughs> yeah, it uh, should be completed uh, within a month. <laughs> we need emotional content, right? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that legendary bit of uh, voice acting. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so in this case, this becomes a little more strategic. But uh, we're going to do this first because there's really no ammo in the game. But you replenish your ammo by doing this one. So we're going to do this one first. Uh, we need to find out where uh, Mr. Lee is in the communications room, and there's a mysterious building. Go and investigate it. Turns out it's a hospital. Your health is going to get refilled after that. So we're just going to do this. Ugh. All right, I forgot. These guys take so much damage. And of course, those guys explode. Of course they do. Right. Forgot how the game gets a little progressively more difficult. And there's a weird hitbox with these guys. Okay, there we go. Damn it. We'll just avoid that guy. Come on, kill that guy. Thank you. Now I can hit him. Not remember this board at all. I think when I was playing this game regularly, I didn't even go down that side. Go the middle. There was no way to fucking avoid that as far as I could tell. So at least we don't have to rescue anybody, we just get to the end. Let's go left first. Hell yeah! So the orange uh, health kits obviously replenish your entire health bar. Good. Pick up that. Pick up this asshole. Dead. Next. Yeah. Damn. Thought it was over far enough. Here. This guy. Assuming I shoot enough. Don't really need that. We'll go up this way now and deal with this. Oh, nope, that was not that. Oh, fuck, a dead end. And of course, they could shoot through walls. Fucking bullshit. That up, right? Thought I could get him in time. Oh, well, I'll take that. Get that one. So obviously, I wanted to go all the way to the left. And meanwhile, that clock just keeps counting down. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, can't figure out how to hit this one. Okay, this dude. Hey, you fatso! Yeah. You're blocking the traffic. <laughs> Guy, I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> yeah, far sights for everybody and no clip bullshit. Got him. <laughs> yeah, why that guy had a southern accent? I will have I I, I will never know. Yeah, we've replenished our supply of ammunition. We don't have ammo. <laughs> But now we find out where Mr. Lee actually is. 
Ah, full armor guy, yep. I don't remember when I get that. Okay, we got them. Yeah, bamboo. I didn't get it under. Like I got in time? Yes, I did. But I figured I'd probably take damage from some other asshole showing up, so it was worth it to take the risk. Shit! Shit! Damn, man, we took way too much damage in that whole exchange. Oh, I timed it wrong. Of course, they don't take damage from the traps. Fucking poor shit. Damn it. Damn it! Fuck, 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 fuck! Yeah, I definitely need that. I need to stop taking damage. That's what I need to stop doing. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get the hell out of that. <sighs> yeah, not both at the same time. So I don't know if this is a bug or not. Because I never heard uh, boss talk smack. Yeah, that boss I remember not giving me too much trouble. And if we, as long as we can get to the end of this next mission, we'll our our health will restore, which I need. Uh, there was supposed to be dialogue there, but it was cut. Oh, you oh you okay, so, yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, because it just plays music and doesn't. Uh, oh, it was it was intentionally cut. Interesting. I wonder. God, for as bad as the voice acting was in this game, I wonder. Oh, send a guy to hell. <laughs> All the other shit in this game and that they cut. That's hilarious. Well, at least it killed them. Uh, I do not remember which way is the better way to go. So fuck it. Let's just go this way and hope for the best. Shrieking, throwing. Oh, fuck. I do not remember the right way to go through that. <sighs> that was basically complete bullshit luck. Okay, how much can Seraph dodge? Even though the shit's going slow, there's still a lot on the screen. Oh, perfect. You're not going any further without defeating me. Sorry, but ladies first doesn't apply on a battlefield. Yeah, she's pretty easy. She might hit me once or twice, but yeah, that's, it. that's it for her. This building probably used to be a clinic. You've had plenty of rest. Yay, full health. Assassinate Mr. Lee, who's on the top floor. Oh, my rockets go through the walls, though, so a few guys. Heavy warrior. Now, does that mean I've... There we go. Yep, we'll take the machine gun. Even though it doesn't go through walls, but... I was just about to say, this is usually the level that I would get the machine gun at. See a chat message, but... Two seconds. Ah! Seraph. 
So that was one of those cases where I could kind of cheese it by increasing the fire rate because I was up against the wall. So it was able to, on the left side of that, really fire it off. Yeah. Sorry, we're almost back to full health here. Uh, it creates walls, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It creates walls, though. I could always do the rocket item, and that would go through the wall. Time to assassinate Mr. Lee. I'm gonna avoid that one. Probably would have been better off just embracing it. Damn, I thought I could get it. I was wrong. We go. I think this is Mr. Lee. Yep. I guess those three were no match for you. Let me be your opponent now. Mr. Lee, this tower is beginning to look like your tombstone. Fuck it. We're gonna get full health next time anyway. Let's just go up and curb stomp him. Hmm, Mr. Lee is no match for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look familiar? He's just a double. You mean he's an imposter? Members of the Force Project would not appear that easily before the public. Guy, I checked around the ship. They're loading an enormous amount of state of the art weapons on here, like you said. I've planted explosives on this ship. We'll use that to look for the real Steve. To the prosperity and glory of the Dual Foundation. Cheers! Yeah, we're making quick work of Last Alert. And I love, like, who puts a bomb on a boat that they're on? <laughs> what kind of plan is that? <laughs> uh, so force through our party floor and get to the armory. Yeah, this is not, this is not, this, yeah, we really don't have a whole lot left. We're, we're making, we're getting through this pretty quick. And I did it again. Mad thunder. Shit, you asshole. Get off my ass. Bastard, die. <laughs> yeah, they do send swarms after us. Getting all my items back. Yeah, because I think this only has two levels. There's this, and then there's the armory floor. I guess you're what they call an uninvited guest. So what are you going to do with me? I'll throw you into the sea after I get you. that one. Perfect. Leaving behind the delicious looking food you've successfully forced through the party floor. <laughs> Find the real Steve. That's it for this hub. God damn it, Seraph. Can I start even one mission without activating a special? Just one! Get away from the laser traps. I mean, I could destroy the laser traps, but it's easier to get by them. Actually, you know, a lot of this game is coming back to me. Like, as far as the levels go. Some of them, like, especially those bigger levels where you have to know where the fuck you're going. Yeah, I don't really remember much in the way of that. 
Yeah, I might... Oh. I might actually want to switch to the grenade launcher for this level. Yeah, I didn't think they could reach that far. Fuck. Taking a lot of damage, but once I get to Steve, I should be okay. I don't remember Steve being all that difficult. Damn. That's enough. Oh my goodness, Seraph. God damn it. I'm so tired of these guys hitting me from over there. Damn. I... Ah. Wait a minute. Man, at this rate, I'm gonna fucking die. Come on, give me a health or something. Yeah, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna have to hope I can beat this guy. And he whirls around like a fucking crazy person. The damages on this ship and the weapons aboard will come to a billion dollars. People will hate you, Steve, if you're too stingy. Yeah, these things are going to come after me in a second. Want to do that? Oh, I went the wrong way. Nope. No. Ah! Damn it! Went the wrong way. Oh, actually, I think I ran out of time. It dilly dallied. Fuck. Yeah, this this mission's hard. I remember it being hard. You remember this mission being tricky? Run by those guys. To avoid that, fuck it. We're gonna avoid that one, but we'll try and kill these guys. Okay, better. This is a better plan. Just try and get through it quickly. Take little damage. So I took way too much damage fighting all these guys the first time around. about that. I could have avoided that. Fucked up. Okay, this time, made it through with at least most of my health intact. Better. Much better. Show me some fancy action here. The damages on this It really would be a great name for an album. Come to a billion dollars. People will hate you, Steve, if you're too stingy. That's right. That was... That's what I was going for here. That was... That was the cheese I was talking about there. Uh, yeah, Find the Risty would be a great name for an album. I totally forgot that until doing it the second time around. But yeah, here we are. Basically the last level. <laughs> Man, look at that. President Allman. <laughs> I'm the only one remaining of the Force Project members. But I have completed the ultimate weapon, Indra. <laughs> Boy, ah, once it's launched, it will put an end to all mankind. Yeah, 
they shall be punished. <laughs> this dude's crazy. Yeah, but don't lose heart. I'll give you just one last chance. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it takes 24 hours to launch Indra. If you can destroy Indra within that time, uh, you win. But, but, there's only one man who's allowed to play this game. That's Guy Kazama. I'm looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> As the President of the United States, I ask you, save all mankind. I'll try, but I can't take the responsibility. This mission is just too great. I know you can do it. You can never trust Leonard. I have to imagine there were some translation issues with some of that, but uh... <laughs> yeah, doesn't get too much too too much more cringy than that. But also, what's stopping him? Like, it takes 24 hours to launch Indra. What's stopping the president from just invading with an entire army? It's not like he said, "Send only Guy Kazama, or I'm gonna activate the Doomsday weapon early." It's like it takes 24 hours to launch it. Just send them. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, smash through the entrance of the enemy fortress. I hit the right button the first time this time. Now we got a shit ton of mooks. At least they die in one hit. Fucking taking way too much damage still. We only have uh, like four levels left. We are nearing the end. Damn. Forgot these guys were here. Oh shit! Run through it. I mean, you can hit him with certain items, but it's easier just to avoid it. Go through. Yeah. I know there are easier ways of doing a lot of this shit, but I don't remember what they are. Yeah, all right. Maybe I should have thought I killed that guy already. Maybe I should have taken out the grenade launcher for this part. Hey, kill that one. Thank you. still alive? Dr. Garcia brought me back to life. You won't get me that easily this time, Guy Kazama. You're right, Ika. They totally do. They totally do. A, a tactical nuke, hell, even a strategic nuke, takes care of this game's climax. I can't remember how I have to hit him. Right. Those aren't heat seek. Those aren't, uh... No, got him on that one. Fine. Let's just take the damage. Alright, so yeah, Dark comes back. This build plus is a built-in steady cam. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But yeah, Scud Missiles totally solved the game's climax. Alright, so we gotta go in and destroy the main computer. Alright, I finally learned to hit the right button this time. Doesn't solve me not taking any damage. What? Ah. I don't want that guy shooting at me anymore. wrong direction. Wanted to shoot diagonally. <sighs> yeah, 
getting my ass kicked here, chat. <laughs> Damn it. Please give me a health kit. Thank you. God, I needed that badly. I was really hoping that was going to give me a health kit. Fuck. Stop getting hit, Seraph. Yeah, that. Don't do that. You guys can't give me health packs? Seriously? Give me a fucking health pack. Damn it. There it is. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. This time with less death. <laughs> ah, What doesn't help is that you do have that built-in timer, so you really... I avoided this bullshit only get shot by this fucking flying guy in a jetpack. Nope. 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 Bastards. Really, I didn't destroy that thing. These. Yeah, uh, this this level's harder than I remember. <laughs> God damn. Fuckers are crazy. No one ape shit. Don't give me health, I don't give a shit. There we go. I probably remembered that when I was playing this as a kid, so I just didn't bother with a lot of that shit. This asshole. Oh, look at that. Didn't realize I had leveled up to superhero. <laughs> that takes care of uh, that care of that. There's no real playing for dying besides redoing the stage. So I don't remember if there are any, if there are limited lives or what, but yeah, you just keep going until you can do it. Enter the factory. Stop the weapons production. So now I can just fire through everything. Fuck everybody. I got rockets now, bitches. What now? Although for reasons that you can probably see, it's not really the greatest weapon, but it certainly has its place. Come on. I could go over there. The problem is I just don't remember so much of this shit. I think I this shit. What? Do 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 do. Ah, 
I totally didn't notice that I had already leveled up to superhero. But I'm glad I noticed there, because the fucking rockets completely wrecked it. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. And the bullets, the way they align, they don't hit you, so you just keep going. I'll have to deal with those guys chasing me in a second. Yeah, anything marked with a crosshairs has an item in it. Oh, well, there's that too. I wonder what the difference is then. You, fuck you, you jetpack wearing assholes. Fuck, I went down the wrong way. You want to go down the left tube, it doesn't have any of that bullshit in it. You're the infiltrator? I haven't had a visitor in a long time. I don't need your hospitality. Just let me pass. I'm in a kind of a hurry. Don't say that. Here, take this. So when you uh, die, you do lose uh, all your items. But yeah, other than that, that's the only real penalty. But these guys are pretty short work. Cool, you stopped the weapons production. You replenish your supply of ammunition. Again, the only thing I can think of is that they originally... Oh, this was a Metal Gear ripoff boss? <laughs> so clearly the uh, makers of this game uh, played a lot of Metal Gear. <laughs> Uh, ah, yes, the bio monster. I remember the first time I even got to this level. So every so often I'll just turn around and take care of these bats chasing me. Like now? No, but I still managed to get me. Fuckers. So good. Yeah, it's it's definitely not that difficult of a game, especially when you consider you can just keep retrying until uh, you're retrying. Because the only penalty again is is losing your special items. Most of the time, it's like who gives a shit. Half the time, I forget I even have them. Bio monster time. There's someone in the water. Something just grazed past my knee. So the tricky part about this one is making sure it doesn't um, pin you. But really, that's it. Yeah, the bio monster is pretty easy. Of course, it still manages to hit me occasionally. Fuck my nose thickness. Do -do -do. Since I'm only getting one or two shots on it. Should at least be hitting it with rockets. Yeah, do that again, fucker. Thought it was gonna hit me there. Tricky.
bio monster is proving to be more annoying than I remember it being. Thought I could hit him twice there. Bullshit that you keep hitting me with those rings, but whatever. Got him. Not bad of you. You've defeated the dragon. Your physical strength is back to the maximum level. Why defeating the dragon restores my health? I have no idea, but it does. All right, second to last level. Defeat Dr. Garcia. Yeah, the only problem is its rate of fire is just so uh, poor. This still is generally the better weapon. Away. Especially when you get close. Fire rate improves. I got greedy. Oh, no, shoot that direction. Shouldn't have done it. Go, thank you. Here we go. So we meet finally, Dr. Garcia. Guy Kazama, you have foiled every one of my ambitions. You're going to have to pay for this. This is way easier with the machine gun. Oh, I still managed to get myself hit. And there are conveniently two space shuttles for me. All Dr. Garcia had to do was only but one of them. And climax of the game is over. He wins. <laughs> Run after Garcia, who's escaped to Indra. So yeah, we literally go to a doomsday weapon installed in a satellite in orbit. <laughs> This I actually don't remember being all that hard. I think we already got through the harder missions of the game. Come on. Ah, of course I say that and then immediately get myself hit. So if I needed it. such a risk to torment me like this. Why? Garcia, nobody can hire my feelings. <laughs> yep, there it is. Right, I forgot you do this shit. 
<laughs> you finally defeated your arch rival Garcia, but you have to stop Indra to save the Earth. Chain, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> Started. It'll put an end to humanity. Isn't there a way to stop Indra? Not, not unless you destroy Indra. But if you do, <laughs> if you do, you will. Also, die. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's a fucking snatcher. Oh, man. So the, the voice acting in this game is just so legendary. My fucking God. But the graphics for the time were pretty impressive, all things considered. Well, he gave, gives me another one. So, your quintessential, quintessential elevator level. that one I would have destroyed that arm faster. This one's toast. Avoid all that. What I did. Don't ask me how. Arm, you have to keep shooting. Oh, fuck. Right. Damn it. Forgot that thing. What I needed to do is switch to the rocket and destroy that. If you can hear that, but yeah, here I come. Got this. There it is. Now I just position myself, and we're good. Indra's dead. It's eventually going to run out of HP, I promise. Oh, I have to do more. Oh, right. Now it goes into fucking ultra mode. And it shoots that fuck you laser thing. But I've got enough hit points, it's not going to matter. That's right, Indra's fucking ultra boss mode. Come on. I hope I'm gonna kill it. Come on. Shit. Fuck. All right. Apparently not. Shit. I must have been so fucking close. Damn. 
fucking Indra got me of all things. Fuck, man, I don't remember the last time. Well, granted, it's been so long since I played this game. But when I was playing it regularly, I don't recall Indra ever kill. Like, once I got good at it. So you just gotta remember what to actually fucking do. Let's see. We're almost there, though. Sucks to lose out on all uh, the uh, items, though. Cause it's not like the stage gigs that gives you a lot of items. Ah. Hey, sir, don't take. Oh. Yeah, don't take an unnecessary hit like that. I think this is where the orbs start showing up, right? Twice, you little bastard. I still got hit by that guy. Stupid. All right, well, at least I get full health. You know, maybe I should equip. No, this is what we want. He did not take damage from this shit. Much. I can. Fucking health taken up by the like bullshit. All right, let's see if we could do a better job this time. Yeah. Come on. Damn it. Ah. All right, I think this is absorbing it. Well, oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Hmm. What's Seraph doing wrong? What is Seraph doing wrong on that? Okay. Hopefully we don't get to the very end and not be able to finish it. That would be super lame. <laughs> At least we get an item from that. And it really doesn't matter how much damage we take in the rest of the mission, we'll still be, uh, end up fighting Indra at full strength. You know, maybe I'll switch, maybe I'll keep the machine gun. Maybe my, maybe I'm remembering wrong and the machine gun is actually not the best part of that. Or the rocket launcher may not be the best weapon for Indra. Maybe I'm not doing enough damage in a quick enough time. Plus, it's hard to dodge all of that. It's tough to dodge all that shit going on at the screen at the same time. Although that yellow little beam thing is the real problem. That thing is really hard to dodge because of how big of a projectile it is. So far so good here. If 
We definitely didn't get this. I hope we didn't get this far just to not finish it. <laughs> That'd be oh so lame. But at least it is we did get to the end before getting in, finding ourselves into trouble here. Would help if I hit the right button. I had to look down to actually find it. That sucked. I went to hit run and couldn't find it. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty unavoidable. I don't know how you're supposed to. Oh, we didn't get the health. We're screwed. We are so screwed. Damn it. Damn. I don't see how you're supposed to avoid all that damage. Like, every so often I can get the pattern right, but... Damn it. Am I supposed to be... Yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah, now this bullshit starts. It's over. Yeah, Jesus. Holy fuck. Yeah, I thought the machine gun would work better, but no. Oh, damn it. I took damage from that. Fuck. Yeah, we tried the machine gun there. I don't know if that, if that did us any favors or not. Of course, I guess we missed the thing that had the uh, full health at the end. So... I got fucked. I fucked myself there. I have to take less damage in that first phase. Let's see, we got this. On the plus side, I've gotten better at the elevator level. <laughs> We've had to do it a couple of times. I would hope I've gotten better at it by this point. Still not sure how to avoid getting hit at all with that last bit where it's like one... at the wrong time. Oh, and it ran right into it that second time. Shit. <laughs> I had the right idea, just the wrong timing. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid this. Yeah. I think that was a decent idea. It just didn't work. Damn, and we didn't get a, uh, a health charger at that time either. What am I doing wrong to not get that? Yeah. Damn it. How do I get it to shoot? Yeah, that's what I want, but... Yeah. Alright, man. But I'm still so injured. I don't know what I'm doing wrong to not get the orange health pet thing at the end there. Damn it. Oh, come on, man. There's no safe space on this entire fucking elevator. 
Yeah, I'm dead. That's it. Shit, man. All right. You know what? Let's see. Uh, what time? We are closing at 10 o'clock. We'll try it another couple of times. If we can't, we just can't. It's not the end of the world. It would have been nice. I mean, this was bonus coverage anyway. Not sure why we're not getting that orange uh, health item. Because the orange health item would definitely make our lives easier. If we got that every time, I don't think I'd have to worry about Indra. I think that's going to be key. I have to figure out why. I have to figure out how to make that drop. Played with fire there. I remember that being able to hurt you if it extends, though. So I definitely are. Yeah, I'm not, not screwing around with this one. Stupid thing that time, of course, then I got hit by that fucker instead. That. Come on. Ah, that's what drops it. Okay. Although we only, we didn't take nearly as much damage that time, go figure. Rockets to do enough damage to the fucking thing. First, then I immediately get hit. If I can at least lower the amount of times I get hit. Fucking arms. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Ho ho ho! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and the emulator crashes uncorrectable error in sector 8760 that's fucking hilarious but that is the game that we did actually beat the game it sucks that we couldn't actually watch the end of it um i don't know if it's an error yeah, that, that's that's new uh yeah well so that anyway but we beat it <laughs> i can't show you the awesome ending but uh but we did beat the game <laughs> it fucking counts. I mean, I could pull it up on you, pull up the ending on YouTube. Um, I'm sure somebody has it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that would happen. So, uh, yeah, I wonder what happened with Manafin with that. But, uh, but at least it decided to do that at the very end of the game. We have visual evidence 
<laughs> we did win even with one fucking hit point, but we fucking did it. Um, but yeah, we win by default. <laughs> We're still standing. The game's fucking dead. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, so yeah, I knew, I, I, I had a feeling we'd be able to do it. I, I probably was pretty close that first time too. The key is getting that last uh, round thing that shoots those lasers at you. That's what drops the um, the full health uh, re orange um, field kit. I may play it again offline just to see if it still crashes at that point. It could just be a bad ROM, um, but whatever. So yeah, that's perfect timing. I think I think we'll close out on that note. Let's uh, let's just close into this. <laughs> oh man, good times, man. Good times, chat. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, but all right, so that's going to wrap up, uh, our stream for today with last alert. Let's see. Is anybody, uh, is anybody even on tonight or is everybody kind of taking an Easter break? Uh, oh, it looks like Cobra is playing something. Uh, so let's, let's raid out to her. It, should, it just says retro. So I guess we'll have to figure out what, what, uh, what she's easy. playing. Uh, so we'll cruise in there and, uh, figure out what, uh, what's going on there. So anyway. Uh, let's go into this. So yeah, normally this music should be playing. We should have gotten to this music in last alert. <laughs> this is the last alert, uh, end credits actually. So that would have been hilarious to be like, Hey, we've, we've heard this before. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Good game still counts. We beat it. <laughs> we did beat the game. It's, it's the game that failed. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, all right. So now that I have a uh, card that works, uh, I leaked all the air out of. So yeah, anybody that this is a good time to do a quick channel update before we raid this, uh, before we raid Cobra Commander and see what she's playing. Uh, back from New York tomorrow, randomized on Tuesday. Nice, nice. Uh, so I'll probably play on Tuesday. And uh, so my my new card came in. I put the new water block on it. I've been bleeding air out of the uh, tubes for the last couple of days, played on it, played a little cyberpunk on it yesterday just to kind of stress test it. And uh, it holds up. So I'm going to go back to Battletech on Tuesday and we'll see what we do as far as the RPG segment of the stream. Uh, we'll see if we play East 3, the Turbo Graphics version or the more likely candidate, uh, Oath of Felgana, and we'll see if I can beat it for the first time ever. I've gotten to the end of it. I just have never beaten it, but I... I like my chances, so we'll probably go with the more canon version and we'll start just going through the E series. I like this plan, but in any event, for uh, everybody else, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I uh, hope your weekend was amazing. And uh, until next time, everybody, I will catch you all on the flip side. Until the until next time. Ciao.